we present a projector camera system with real-time photometric adaptation. Projection can be used to create displays and interfaces on ordinary surfaces. To account for photometric non-uniformities on the surface, a camera is used in the system. The system is then able to compensate for the surface properties and obtain a desired appearance. We present a method which adapts this compensation automatically when the scene of the projector moves. As a first step, the correspondence between the projected and captured images must be determined. To realize real-time compensation, we present a system whose geometry is independent of the surface. Thus, once our system is calibrated, it remains calibrated despite changes in the scene. We accomplish this by making the optics of the projector and the camera coaxial using a beam splitter. We demonstrate scene and variant correspondence by projecting and capturing checkerboard patterns. The captured image is geometrically almost identical to the projected pattern, even though each point of the surface has varying depth. This remains true even when part of the scene moves. In this way, we also eliminate relative occlusion and parallax. Our adaptive projection algorithm begins with a single offline photometric calibration on a given surface. This calibration involves the projection and capture of only four images. The captured images are used to compensate the projector input prior to projection. We demonstrate our algorithm on a pinwheel with multiple brightly colored patches. We use our method to make the pinwheel appear uniformly gray. This case is particularly difficult since any errors are easily seen. As the pinwheel turns, our method detects the compensation errors caused by the movement. This makes it possible to adapt the compensation image without recalibration. After the adaptation, the appearance is quite close to the desired uniform gray. The results are equally good across color channels and for different color patches. In this video, the motion between frames is large to demonstrate the algorithm. However, our photometric adaptation only requires one frame, so it operates in real time. Here we show a butterfly picture moved through the scene. Our dynamic compensation method continuously creates the desired appearance even as the picture moves. Without adaptation, the scene shows ghosts and other artifacts due to the incorrect compensation. Our method adapts the compensation to the scene in just one frame. In this example, the user moves the system during projection. Projectors are already being incorporated in small devices to provide interfaces. A fundamental challenge in implementing high-quality projection from a handheld system is adapting the compensation to the projector motion. As shown, we achieve good and stable results even as the projector is moved back and forth. In comparison, you can see the change in the petals of the flowers when there is no adaptation. Our method is not limited to projection of still images. Here, we are able to project a video on a surface which is moved. We still maintain a high-quality appearance despite displacement of the pattern on the surface. The compensation for the projected video may be computed in real time. The method adapts the projected video in just one frame. Here we compare compensating projected video with and without adaptation. Finally, we apply our method to projector-based interfaces, for example, the direct annotation of objects on a desk. Relevant information regarding an envelope is projected onto it when it is placed on a desk. As shown, the projected annotation is essentially invisible without adaptation. Once adaptation is applied, the annotations become clear. Our projector camera system provides a method to project high-quality images from a mobile projector in a dynamic environment.